What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Gilly Nova back here with a new video. Today it is June 1st, 2020 and I'm currently upstairs at my house walking into my hoarding room. Trust me guys, this is a lot cleaner before but I'm currently going through some of these things just to show you guys some of the memorabilia that I have in this room. So over the years, I've collected and stored things like sports memorabilia like jerseys. So here's a couple that I kind of want to show you guys. This is an OKC Kevin Durant jersey, brand new. It still has the tags and I bought this from Marshalls for only $39.99. If you guys know, NBA jerseys right now are $110 brand new and I was able to get this for even less than that. Honestly, you can resell this for probably $150. I haven't checked eBay recently, but I knew when I saw this at Marshalls that I had to buy it. I know this looks really old and really cracked, but this is really rare if you guys know basketball this is a michael jordan number 45 jersey made by champion it is really cracked it is a size small so it doesn't fit me but this is really cool to have i bought this from a thrift store right next to my house but they're closed now so old concert poster so this is hard summer 2018 so in my opinion this is very historical i didn't go to the event unfortunately i wish i did but you have diplo back to back with dylan francis opening up for Travis Scott. And if you guys know, a couple days before this event, he dropped Astroworld. So I believe this was his first or second event ever to perform Astroworld live. Uh, a couple more posters I kind of want to show you guys. This is Camp Flogna 2017, and this is Glory Vision uh, 2018, and this was in Oakland. I think one of my friends got this and gave it to me. This is an unopened box of Shaq and Yao Ming. So I'm pretty sure this is like a collector's item. And here's another thing that I saw recently that I thought was really cool. So my dad purchased this a long time ago and kept this in really good condition in one of these boxes. And if you look really closely, it says right there, September 12th, 2001. So this is a really good condition newspaper. They're almost 20 years old, the day after 9-11. So as you can see, I'm a person that's really interested in history. And I always thought to myself that it would be amazing for me to look back at all these things. And with the lockdown right now and having the ability to work from home, I thought to myself, what a better time to look at everything and share with others what these things mean to me. I think that YouTube is like the perfect platform for me to share with you guys because I can't have like all you guys coming to my house and telling you every little bit of like these items that I think are pretty cool. And I can just look at these YouTube videos again in the future instead of like me digging through everything again. So for the time being, I'm gonna go through everything in this room, organize it, put it into different boxes, and then make multiple videos of me talking about like every item that I got, if there's any historical significance to me that I think is pretty cool to share with you guys and also the reason why I kept it. Also, if you're interested in buying any of these items in the future, such as like my jerseys, um, just leave a comment below or DM me on Instagram at Gilianova and we can discuss it there. All right, so stay tuned. I'm going to have a lot more videos coming out this month. Stay safe and I hope to see you guys soon. All right, peace out guys.